side. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to say, it feels good to work with the Republic again. We spent so many years dealing with Suresh and people like her. It's easy to lose faith. To forget what we all signed up for in the first place. The Republic might finally be ready to live up to its own standards. I'm glad to be a part of it. Theron, everything isn't what it looks like. The Republic will never become what we want it to be. What are you trying to say? The Empire is the way forward for us. Teaming the Alliance up with the Republic, it's all for show. I'm a double agent. You saw what happened when I went down that road, what it almost cost me. I'll back you to the end. I owe you that. I just hope you thought this all the way through. Lana knows, I assume? She's the only other person who does. Then it will stay that way. I'll keep your secret, but... Just... Give me some time on this, all right? Commander, what a pleasure. Alec Rain, Republic News Network. Your little comeback is everybody talking. Would you uh, like to join the conversation? What do you have in mind, exactly? Oh, nothing too formal. You, me, and a friendly conversation about the Alliance and the Republic. I think it would boost morale for people to hear about how you're going to win this nasty old war for us. How about it? Count me in. Where should we meet? We film in a studio on Carrick Station. Meet me there when you're ready. NR02, did you hear about this interview request? Naturally. This would be an excellent opportunity to weaken Republic resolve. Don't endanger your cover. You need only ensure that your answers leave more doubt than certainty. Uh, Commander, welcome. Follow me and we'll get started. Our studio is just this way. Welcome back to Republic News. I'm your host, Alec Rainin. Tonight's guest has a colorful history as a transport pilot and freelance adventurer across countless worlds. But nowadays, you're simply known as the Commander, leader of the alliance that overthrew the Zakulian Empire, a hero to the entire galaxy. How does it feel to return to the Republic? What I love about the Republic is how imperfect it is. A big mess of imperfect beings muddling through, just trying to make it. That's an interesting viewpoint. Some people in your position might have felt uh, abandoned given the Republic's treaty with Sakul precluded any official support for the Alliance. And despite those difficult circumstances, you remained loyal. You supported the Republic's efforts on Iocath, for example. Why is that? It was clear that they were in way over their heads. I'd hate to imagine what might have happened otherwise. Wouldn't you? Let's, uh, let's move on. At the request of Republic personnel, you defended the Jedi colony on Osis when it came under Imperial attack. It was during that attack that we learned of the survival of Darth Malgus, possibly the Empire's most feared battle commander. How did his reappearance make you feel? Honestly, they have so many Sith Lords over there, you could lose track of which one's which. And every one of them is dangerous. Uh, yes. I'm afraid we're just about out of time, so... Let's get to the heart of things, the war against the Sith Empire. Can we win? Well, what are the other choices? Surrender? A treaty? Are those possible? It looks to me like winning is the only option, no matter the cost. I see. Any final comments before we wrap up? I really like your boots. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much to our special guest. I'm Alec Rainin. Good night, and stay strong. Transmission complete. My, uh, uh, my assistant will show you out. An interesting strategy, Commander. You have certainly shaken people's confidence.
We would be honored if you would join us.